This is a quick tutorial to help you learn how to export your GarageBand file to QuickTime and how to place that file in my Dropbox. Okay, so let's say you're done with your GarageBand. And I'm just going to move this out of the way. I'll use that in a minute. And everything looks good. You've uh, listened to it. You're satisfied. What we're going to do is click on Share, Export Podcast to Disk. And you can leave these settings as they are set by default, AAC encoder. They just leave this the way it is and make sure that this is checkmarked because that's going to have your artwork. Then we're going to export that. And I'm going to put mine on the desktop. Click on Save. Okay, that's on my desktop now. The next thing I'm going to do is open up my uh, server account, but I will not be signing in to my name. I'm going to go into Dropboxes. So I click on OK. And here are the Dropboxes. And look for Caldenberg. I have a lot of Dropboxes, and you're going to look for the one called middle school okay and uh, your desktop probably won't be as messy as mine but find that file okay and then just drag that file into the Dropbox and it'll ask you uh, that it's okay to do that. You won't be able to see it because it's a locked Dropbox. Click OK. And you should see that little download uh, dialog box pop up because you should have a, you know, a decent sized file. You will not be able to see whether it really went in there or not. Um, so at the end of each day I'll just send Mr. Turner a little screenshot saying uh, what projects have been dropped in my Dropbox. Let's name them. Um, let me change the name of mine. Let's do language art L L A7 and then your section I'll say one and then your last name. And um, so I'll just drop that again, and that's it.